Bay Buccaneers. And for the New Orleans Saints, it's Ha Shugs at the helm. And he'll get the ball first. Five minute quarters, 30 second play clocks. And we are playing salary cap mode where you have a certain amount of value that you have to keep your team under. You get 34 players. And for example, someone like Marcus Mariota is going to cost you around 48 cap. Yeah, yeah. One thing I want to call out as well, Coltrane, is one thing I love about esports is the diversity and all the different demographics you see. You got Stevie J at 22 years old and Hashad's at 33 years old with an 11 year age difference. But that's what's fantastic about esports. It's for anybody and everybody. We've seen kids from 17 to 16 to 33 to your early 20s to your late 20s. You just got to love it. And so they're setting their audibles up. There's something new that has been added to Madden over the last patch or so. It's on the fly audible. So now they can. You know, you used to have to go up to the line. You had a set number of plays you could choose from in Madden Ultimate Team. But now you can sort of customize, give some different looks based on what you see on the defensive side of the ball. Yeah, the audibles on the fly feature, fantastic feature. One of my favorite features really lets you open up your strategy, your game plan, and how good defense is in this game. You need that on offense. Has some time for Shugs, and there's a big hit. But the GOAT, Jerry Rice, holds on. This is going to be a good game right here, Coltrane. And Stevie J, he's already got a ton of points. A win right here would pretty much guarantee him a spot in Ultimate League. I don't think he would need any more wins after that. He's already pretty uh, pretty much almost locked in. But Shugs playing for his tournament life right now. Got to have them all. Needs to Shugs win. has got to make a deep run in this thing to find his way At to, least the to the Final Ultimate four. League. At least to the Final Four, I think, for Shugs. Bunch to the left, Jerry Rice to the right. Ball at the 42, first and 10 for Shugs. Picks up the blitz. It's just standing in the pocket, and there's a late crosser. It's a shallow cross that came late. And works his way to the 46-yard line. 405. Well, you blink and a minute's already gone by in this one. High snap and there's the delay. It's Stevie J, I'm looking it up, Coltrane. He's currently in ninth place for that Ultimate League standing. So there's a chance he could lose this game and still be good. But you don't want to risk anything. Yeah, a lot of the early indicators are you need about 850 to be on the edge. 900, 925, he should be good. But a lot of ways to go. A lot of different scenarios. Has B open. Pulls it down and takes the sack. That's Peppers getting in there. Shugs with a little of that old man vision right there. Like you said, <laughs> missed B open late. In the shadows. Yeah, in the shadows of the field. You see that. Once he hits about the 30-yard line. That's gloomy. He's good with that daytime driving. But you get down in the nighttime down there. Nice playmaker to the 33. Three for three, and Jerry Rice has got two of those grabs. The funny thing, I'm looking at the other stage, Coltrane. Mustafa doesn't have his voice. He lost his voice yesterday, and he's over there trying to scream because something happened, and he can't do it. <laughs> Let's go! Come on! Second and eight. Well, all that cheering you got to do for EMB, there's so many of them here. <laughs> You're eventually going to lose your voice. Bunch to the right, digs to the left. Mariota the gun here at the 31. Good shugs. It's good defense by Stevie. Let's go over. You heard that yell with well, a quiet yell from Mufasa. What's going on, guys? Well, we're eight seconds into this game. We've got a huge pick already. Mustafa getting the ball back. He is now driving with the Falcons. 0-0, 452 left of the first. Just getting going. Back to you. That's that Ronnie Law. We're giving him away on Twitter. Head out there. Everyone's got a, a copy of that to kind of share. And of course, a lot of the folks that are coming by here are also getting a copy of that Ronnie Lott. Yeah, we're giving away free Ultimate Team Ronnie Lott. They got all types of swag. We're throwing away football, shirts. Good time here at the Pro Bowl. Fourth and eight. If you're headed down here to the wild world of sports, we're in a brand new arena that's pretty much right on the edge before you even get on the grounds, before you even go through security. We're right here. Come by and say hello to oh, us. This he's might got be it. blocked. Oh, it's it going to go the other way. Shut, and he it scoops up. it up. Give me a little flu. I need 
And they push it back to the 45. Lucky that he didn't get a scoop and score. And you hear Stevie he's saying, give me all the fluke. He times the kick right there. It's a little bit lucky, but if you shudge, he didn't get the perfect kick. Stevie in field goal block, puts his life on the line. He's got all kinds of momentum. How are you going to respond, Shugs? Q-Tip said, can I kick it? No. <laughs> no. You cannot. First and ten. So some fireworks already between the Saints and the Bucks. It's a huge play by Stevie. And th it, there's a gentleman's agreement like you talked about, Coltrane. He's going to decline that penalty because they're both giving each other some time to make those formation subs and set those audibles. It's not standard. They don't have to decline don't the have penalty. have to agree to that. But they're making the gentleman's agreement to go ahead and do that. Some players are with it. Some players are not. Hand off to Herschel Walker. The former Bulldog doesn't get much. Second and ten. It's the guys that don't set a lot of audibles that won't agree to that yeah. gentleman thing. They're like, dude, I don't need any extra time to set my audibles. That, that's your problem. It's because they're in the West Coast running the bunch, and they just four, need to the four audibles set it. those guys and get out of there. As Jerry Rice gains two. So already third and eight, ball at the 47 after the block kick. And this is that tight slots formation that Stevie J made so famous. He's passing the ball out of it, but that pitch and dive concept out of this has really been his bread and butter all year. And those kind of, I'm not saying gimmicks, but those sort of strategies or game plans, they might get you early in the year if you're Hanging out in Vegas. By the way, we were hanging out with User last night. Those guys do a great job out there in Vegas. Yeah. But once people see it and it hits the community offense, it hits the weekend league, okay, the rest of these guys got it boxed up and we got a punt on fourth and 17. Yeah, it's a really good point. There's a lot of high-level strategies that you can, you know, maybe use against your random online warriors that you go up against. But when you're going up against the 32 of the best players in the world, they've practiced against that stuff. They know what they're doing. And it's going to be a lot harder to get away with those things. You mentioned Shug 78 and 2 on the ladder to get here. That's ridiculous. <laughs> and he has a full time job, a wife, a daughter, 33 years old. That's some real talent right there from Ha Shugs. Yes. Serving oh. and protecting, keeping people safe in the state of Louisiana. I mean, there's a story where Shugs had to qualify via online elimination on his lunch break at the police station. First and 10. Just shy of midfield. Good defense by Stevie. Let's go over to the Panthers and the Falcons. Guys, give us an update. We've got some points over here, guys. Sava capitalizing on that turnover, able to get the ball into the end zone. Absolutely. He went from offense, defense to offense, and then offense to seven. That's right, got stopped there at the one-yard line. QB sneak, 7-0 Safa up with three minutes left in the first quarter. Back to you guys. All right, good-looking game over there. And this one, Ha Shugs, although he got a field goal blocked, he's 7-7 seven of seven with Mariota. Final play of the quarter. Yeah, like you said, he's been looking good on offense. Should have the three points, got the field goal blocked. Shugs is not, nothing to be trifled with. When I tell you he's been getting it in since Madden, 2005 he's been getting it in from o since 05 he has tons of experience he knows the formula of how to get good to Madden he applies it year in and year out he puts in the time he puts in the practice and it's why he's able to be so consistent back in the day a lot of people knew him as Bailey yeah and you know why we called him Bailey is he was one of the only guys who would user control his cornerback on the side of the field. He would use a control champ Bailey, put coverage everywhere else, locked on your best wide receiver, and it was a strategy that was completely unheard of, but he was very effective with it. He doesn't play like that anymore, but that's how he got the nickname Bailey back then. Second and 16. And here comes oh. some late pressure. Nice click in on that right stick by Stevie J. And all of a sudden, we're going to have a Big time third and 20. Take a look at this again. Yeah, Shugs with sniffing field goal range. And like you said, you click in the right stick. That'll make that closest defender to the quarterback. Bail on his assignment. Go after him. 
what Stevie did right there. But that's a big play by Shug to get himself back in field goal range. Here's the thing, though, Scott. When you <laughs> kick it perfect, make sure Stevie doesn't block another one. And he's fortunate that that block kick didn't go to the house because they usually do. So fourth and five. I think that's one of the major tuning areas of those block kicks. Good kick right there. I, I, they, they go to the house a little too often for my liking. Yeah, a lot of times when you see a block kick, it sort of just flutters around. Yeah. You know, it might go, oh, and instead of, you know, being blocked and taken back for six, it might go 13 yards, right? And, the, yeah. and you can forward. take over. And yeah. Let's go ahead and get an update from Dave Enrico. Mustafa is all over this game on defense. Rico, this has been impressive so far in the first quarter. Absolutely. Man who's made a lot of completions, they've just been to Mustafa's secondary. Mustafa driving again on offense, 7 0. Kept him down to two minutes in the first quarter. Well, he's got that Matty Ice jersey on, and he's looking clutch there early. Shugs finally got the field goal, and now Stevie J has got a chance to. Drive down here and take the lead. Real quick on Mustafa. First of all, he needs to be careful. He's losing his voice. He keeps screaming, <laughs> let's go, barely. But I want to say, he's the underdog in that game, but he looks so good. And I think it's that EMB crew constantly helping him prepare. you got guys like Drag, Joe, Ghost. Oh, big play by and Stevie! Herschel Walker! Oh! This run game's nasty, but I just wanted to finish that point of having that staple around you is such a big deal because it helps with the preparation and Mustafa showing that against Manu. Well, you talk about iron sharpens iron. Volterax even talked about, hey, the times that he's played with Skimbo and Dubby and Sirius Mo. Boy, that's, that's helped out his game as well. Exactly. It's a big deal. I, didn't, I wasn't able to take my game to the next level until I was able to practice with guys like Chow and Young Nephew. And there goes Herschel Walker. By the way, Volterax, a.k.a. Voltbot, coming up in the NFC West. Yeah. That's how we started this whole journey, RG. It was Arizona. me and you out in Arizona. And Volt, that, that classic, what was it, 17-point comeback he made. Everyone thought it was over. Stevie's getting his running game here going Coltrane, and that's when he's at his best. It's that dive in the pitch. There's the pitch. Three minutes to go. He's going to motion sharp over to the left. Audible's to the oh! dive, and he's got some space, no! and Stevie J's got the lead. Yo, this kid knows how to run the rock. He's young, but he plays old man football. We're not kidding when he say he has one of the best run games in the nation, and for him to pound the rock against a veteran like Sean, go down, get seven. Families in cra the crowd, his girlfriends in the crowd, friends at UCF watching, Stevie J putting on right now. He didn't see it, but he looked like he sort of I know he's not a Florida State fan, but he sort of gave like a tomahawk chop there. UCF, of course, his guys. Yeah, well, what a season they had, huh? Unofficial national champs. Unofficial. Very unofficial. 7-3. I better, better keep my comments to a minimum here in Orlando as Herschel Walker takes it to the crib. Rex was saying it would have been funny if they just showed up to the national championship <laughs> game and were outside waiting. Let us in, we're ready. Little publicity stunt. Oh, Shogs. Oh, be careful, Shogs. Got caught up on his lineman. Here's the thing about Shogs. He doesn't, if he's too advanced, he doesn't know what he's going to do. He says, I don't know if I can keep <laughs> taking this time off of work. This is a long <laughs> tournament. He's got to go back and patrol the streets. We're talking about PTO, oh. and that one doesn't get over the line. His first incompletion of the game brings up a third and ten, trailing by four. Yeah, some of those grown men with the families that take work. I mean, you, you got your passion, but you, sometimes you got responsibilities. It gets hard. Spot me, please, another guy in that same situation, you know? Shout out to our families and our bosses for letting us be here. Absolutely. Third and ten. The pocket. Good dot. And there is Grant. Such a value for what you get in the cap. He's made some big plays. This is a gain of 20. You got his cap in front of you over there, Scott? I, I might have some math in here. 37 cap for the team of the week. Not the best hands, but he's got that speed. And Marion, oh, oh, the ball is out! It's out! Scooped up! And this... Oh! Gets oh! Sticky with it! Oh! Stevie J! Oh, Stevie! 
Dixon Gracie, Stevie J showing you the skills of the stick work. That was the most feared Duke Riley. Who? Duke Riley. Putting shugs <laughs> on skates. Showing the stick work. He's got one of the best run sticks in the nation. Displays it on the fumble recovery. And this young man's rocking. He's in the zone. He's got a block kick. He's got a fumble now. 14-3. to three. And when you can score and go up, you know, 11 points, but do it in that fashion where you get sticky like that, it really feels good and it does wonders with your confidence. Let's look at this replay. Gets caught up on his lineman again, and then the ball was in the right hand. And watch this stop move right here. Go whoopsie, whoopsie. Nasty. And you can see the emotion from oh, Stevie yeah. J. Oh, he's rocking. Boy, he's had a range of emotions throughout this Madden 18. When he won in Vegas, kind of told everybody, hey, none of y'all believed in me, and I got it done. And now he's here again, a top 10 player this year in Madden football. He did say that. Yeah, it's a good, he, one of the bigger underdogs going into that tournament, got it done. Had a chip on his shoulder. He let people hear about it. Here's the thing, though. Shugs is experienced. He's very skilled. This game is not over. If Shugs can get the offense in rhythm, it's going to be trouble for Stevie. This game's far from over, Coltrane. Some of these younger players get on tilt. Yes. And they let the game sort of get out of hand early. That's not going to happen with Shugs. And you've been seeing that more consistently as the guys that are showing up to these events are in so much control of their emotion. Every now and then we see people have those mental lapses, but for the most part, the best players in the world are able to avoid that tilt feeling, which is key when, when playing competitive Madden. It's very underrated skill. It's a huge deal. It's one of the top four skills, in my opinion, that you need to have when playing. We saw that. That was the missing piece from Echo Fox Jokes game. Once that came to sort of into fruition in the maturation there, he's been one of the toughest outs in Madden football this year as there's another big play by CBJ. Yeah, if you look at Stevie's body language, he is dead serious right now. He's playing with a lot of fire in his heart, a lot of passion. And I, I think he, he, he's a kid that he still has a chip on his shoulder and has a lot to prove, even though he's been continuing to get things done. Uh, he, he still looks hungry as ever. Third and 11, both guys with three timeouts. Big play. Even a field goal on this drive would make it a one possession game. Big play for Shugs. Mario oh, target, passing. target passing. Passed. Try to playmaker. Re regroups, catches it, and gets it to Diggs. Whoa. <laughs> I thought we were going to see the first target pass in the history of Madden football. And they shot out to Shugs to be able to recover. Wow. Look at him, that target <laughs> pass, little loop-de-loop, -loop, little spin in the pocket. Regain my composure, catch it first down. First and ten. Mariota gets out of the pocket. Got to throw it away, and he will. He's on the edge of field goal range. Field goal's good. It makes you in one possession. Greg Zerline is his kicker. Ligatron. He's got 94 overall, so I'd say he's in range. That's assuming he didn't make a last-minute kicking adjustment. <laughs> Second and ten. Let's go, baby. And another big play. That was that's big. That that got him out of field goal range. That got him out of field goal range, Scott. And the clock's ticking. 57 yards. He's got two timeouts. This is big. 14. This is the biggest play of the game. This is huge. Stands tall in the pocket. Wow. And there's the goat, Jerry Rice. He uses a timeout. And we got 14 seconds to go before the half. A touchdown here would be huge. Oh, wow. Talk about shots under the pressure. Nice playmaker. You do that by flicking up the right stick. It'll send the closest receiver to you upfield. Big first down. Good pocket First again. First and ten has all day. We'll Try scramble with Mariota. And boy. Yeah, I think you run this down. You call timeout with two seconds. You kick the field goal. Make it a one-possession game before the half. Oh, what a ball game, Coltrane. Yeah, what you said is exactly what he's going to do here. Let's go over and get a quick update. We have got a ball game here. Manu answering after Musafa was able to get a field goal. Driving down the field here, Rico. Some nice passes all the way up to now. 
that was the pinpoint zone beater. After he threw that touchdown is where you heard him just jump up and scream, dot, one stop. All he feels he needs. Right now, Mustafa perfect from through the air in this game so far. 10-7, under two minutes in the first half, guys. Well, we're here at the half. They'll do the opening kickoff, and then we'll talk about that first half that is going to end up stopping 14-6. to six Good. As Walker takes it to the 24-yard line, and that's how the first quarter will start. How about the intensity levels in these players? Did you see the emotion Manu was showing right there on that yeah. replay? Goodness, he looks like he meant business. Now, let's remember, Stevie still only has seven points on offense right now. He's got, he has the kick block, Shugs is able to, you know, hang on right there. And he had the fumble return, so Shugs is able to play defense. This is going to be a big drive right here for him. If he can get a stop on Stevie, keep it one possession and get the ball back. This is a statement drive right here. How about the production crew holding down A, going straight through halftime? I'm, I'm with it. I love it when we get right into the action, Coltrane. Second and eight. Uh-oh. Big time pitch. block, but a better stop by Julius Peppers, who's become a favorite around competitive Madden players. And it's more than just running pitch and dive and all of that stuff. The best runners, Scott, are able to commit to the run. They understand that there's going to be times where you're going to take a loss, you're only going to get a yard, you're going to get hit in the backfield, but eventually you can break one. The best runners are willing to stick to that ground game. Oh! It's picked up by Shugs! Wait, he's got room for him. Tackled by Jerry Rice, and that's just what Shugs needed. And Shugs, the opposite of everyone in this group, doesn't even blink, and off of the tip, breaks it up. Well, he threw in a, I don't say this a lot, quadruple coverage. Yeah, a lot of traffic going on right there. Let's go! Oh, and it's right picked back. off right back right this back. time. He's got room! It's Anthony oh. Barr and Mariota. Wow. Okay. Oh, they're getting lit up in here. Look at Steve. He peels back over the middle. Use alert means he controlled ball from start to finish. Puts him on skates. And that's a big tackle by Shugs right there to save the pick six. Oh, we're rocking. Let's take a quick live look in at the other game for just a second. This is Falcons and Panthers. Third and nine at the 10-yard line. He's taking a sneaky live look over at the Falcons and the Panthers. I like this it. This is a big play right before the half and the other half of the NFC South. Yeah, I like this. This is a big, like you said, for Mustafa. If he could score this touchdown, make it two possessions. And you, you want to be there against a guy like Manu. Manu is so skilled. If you let him stick around, he'll creep up on you and run away with that W. Offset eye, stretches it outside, gets a block, and gets a touchdown! Herschel Walker! And the EMV crew is on their feet, cheering on their guy, Mustafa, and this is his first ever live event. He's been going to underground tournaments for a long time. Finally has the opportunity to make some noise, and he's not disappointed so far. And that kick is up, and it's good, and now the lead is 10 between the Falcons and the Panthers with Mufasa and Manu. So a quick live look, and... Back in the Saints and Buccaneers game. It's still an eight-point game. Here's the kickoff here for Manu. He's going to be now trailing by 10. Rock, rock a little Panthers Falcons here. I feel like I'm in control of the red zone. I'm going to go ahead and grab the controller from you here, and I'm going to go ahead and click back over. <laughs> Do our best uh, <laughs> Scott Hansen impression, that's right? right? That's right. I'm going to click back over. We're, we're not oh, Steven! And Herschel Walker is doing it in both games. Oh, my goodness. You stick to the run game if you're Stevie J. It's what's got you here. It's what's given you success. He ran for over 300 in his first game of this tournament, and he's really starting to pound the rock on Shugs. This will make it a 15-point game. Still two possessions with 238. Yeah, we don't have the quad box ready. That would be dope. But we do have the dual box. I would love Madden Red Zone at one point. That would be fun. <laughs> Might have to rotate in. There's so much action in Madden. 
Lose your voice. Not a lot of stoppage in play. Take a look at it again. Just right up the gut. And Herschel Walker. It's what I'm talking about, Colts. That's a nice controller by Stevie J. Little lime green on that controller. And you can use your own controller sure. if you show up here. Everybody knows about Spot Me, please. We'll see him tomorrow. He's got like a, a baby controller. I use the Spot Me controller now. Really? I have the Spot Me controller. I went and bought one. It's nice. It's fantastic. I use it every now and then. I got the Elite controller and I got the Spot Me controller. I like how the one, it says for ages 8 and under. Yo, that thing looks so tiny in my hands, but you know what? For some reason, it, it feels good. Second and 10. Re very responsive. It's a corded controller, too. Not one of those wireless. I like that. It's old school. Comeback route to Rice. He finished his route up field and then came back, and Mariota finds him. This is a must-score drive for Shugs. Yeah, and Sh I'm telling you, Shugs isn't just going to go away. He's going to fight. He's got too much experience. He's too good. If you're Stevie, you, you can't take your foot off the gas because Shugs, I'm telling you, he's just too good. Bunch too to the right. Quick throw to Jerry Rice. Tries to spin. It'll mark the ball at the 39-yard line. It's going to be a second and five. People trying a lot of those steerable spins now. Because there was the patch that tuned down the fake outs on the user defenders. So you're seeing a lot less broken tackles in that open field. You got to get a lot more sticky in those situations. Nowhere to go, and Von Miller finally breaks through third and 10. Out of field goal range. Probably two down situation. Yeah, definitely for Shugs right here. You need, you, need to, you need to get points out of this drive, preferably a touchdown. Field goal's really not that good at all. Mariota will use his legs, Good makes work. a man miss, and then slides down at the 32. I love seeing how much people are using that rollout, Loco Scott. You see it? It's so much more responsive. Oh, no, that was real. Uh, that, was, that was the real scramble. That was the push, actually. yeah. That, that was, was the real the, scramble. I'm sorry. That was the full-on turbo. Hey, I made a mistake. It well, works, too. Well, you know, one this year. Not too bad. Up the seam to Gurley out of the backfield. And now he's down to the 12-yard line. Got to have touchdowns here. Yeah, the touchdowns what makes it rough. The field goal is no good. I mean, it helps, but it's really not where you want to be with a five-minute quarter game, only a minute in the third. You really want the touchdown, but as you call it, Coltrane, this is the dead zone down here. It gets stingy, man. A little swag after the play by Mariota. And more gentle screaming from Nufasa in game number two. I'm worried about him. <laughs> and Gurley on a playmaker. 21-6 to six here between the, the Bucks and the Saints. And this we've had just incredible games after incredible games. This is probably the widest margin we've seen. And Hot Shugs is knocking on the door. Stevie J, man, he's no joke. It's been a big year for him. Mariota, quick throw to Diggs. And that'll cut the deficit. And no need to chase the points right here. He might. No, no, I like to kick the extra point right now. Save the two-point conversion. Because if you don't get the two-point conversion, it's still a two-possession game. And Stevie J is more comfortable, and he keeps the momentum. By kicking the extra point now, you put more pressure on Stevie J, and you give yourself a lot more momentum. Great point, RG. I, I've made that mistake in a tournament once before. Can't where chase I, those I, points. I went for the two too early. I didn't get it. My opponent felt so much more comfortable killing the clock. Uh, he played a lot more conservative, and I, I learned my lesson after that one. Walker. Oh. Runs into the back of his blocker. He's what? still on his what? feet. Shugs with a little shake of the head there. Take a look at this touchdown again. Look at that. Kind of screened off the defender with the B receiver at the A receiver, sneak in right behind him. It's a nice play right there. There was there no by way Shugs. he was going to throw it to number 44, J.J. Jansen. <laughs> Who? The bluff. The Where's bluff route. Ten cap with the Carolina Panthers. Here comes the pitch. That's the lowest cap value you have in a player. Let's check out what's going on in the uh, Falcons and Panthers game, guys. Thanks, Scott. Musafa is just dotting up all over the field. That's what's going on over here, Rico. Big touchdown pass. Look at that speed. He's great as a coach, even better as a GM. Great pick, Musafa. 24-10, Safa, three and a half minutes left in the third. Back to you guys. Mufasa, use your inside voice. What? 
Yeah, he's, he's got so much heart, man. I'm telling you, if you go talk to him, it's like, Archie, oh, uh, I run the New England playbook. He, he's got <laughs> nothing, but then he, the highlights come on, and he's, he's all the way back. It's just, it's just all the motion and heart over there right now. EMB's got him looking good, though, huh? For his first live event, go up against one of the favorites like Manu, be taking care of business like he is over there. It's not over, but... And there he goes yelling again. Third and 11. This drive has a lot of implications. One possession game, 21 to 13. Yeah, this is big right here. Third and 11. Second play of the fourth quarter. And this isn't Stevie's realm. He's a runner, so when you get him in these situations where he's forced to pass, he can take advantage. Mariota. Got to watch the scramble. He gets loose. He missed it. Boy, he had to make that throw. He did. not What's all the screaming about, David Rico? Well, you know, no big deal. Musafa just intercepting another pass yet again. His third of the game, and he's making sure everybody in Orlando knows about it. Back to you guys. He's driving again. 21 to 13. Sarah, can you get him some hot tea, some honey? <laughs> he's going to need it, man. I'm telling you. I've Fourth been and there. seven. Eight-point game, Stevie J. Yes, it, well, He's going to take the delay of game and maybe kick this thing. He's going to punt. This is a good game. We got good games all over. With Mustafa only being 22 years old, I guess he could be more... He could put more stress on your voice, I guess. We're not going to put faster. his picture up, but the picture I have in the media guide here is him in a hot tub. <laughs> that's, that's, how, that's how laid back he is. That's <laughs> how much he's chilling. Shout out to Donnie Moore for these media guides, man. He does fantastic work. Our ratings are, now our stats are. I don't know the last time Donnie Moore slept, but it was early January. Yeah, that guy's an animal, man, in that office. First and 10 now for Shugs. Ball at the 31 after the punt. What a ball game here. Trying to drive it down to tie this thing up. Swings it to the outside. Big hit by Lott, and that'll be an incompletion. I wish I had Shugs... Uh, district unit for the police station back home. I'd shout them out, but you know they're at home watching. His wife Heather's at home watching, the daughter Reagan. And if Shugs can put together this comeback, I've got a touchdown here. They're going to be going crazy in Louisiana. There's a throw. And now I got the remote control again. I'm going to I'm going to ninja my way over to the other half of the uh, the NFC South. 24 to 10, Mufasa with the lead here. And he's got the ball once again down at the 11, RG. Drop the coal, give you the Hanson, <laughs> huh? <laughs> Boy, he's looked really good today. This is one of the biggest margins we've had. 14-point game, and this would... I know it's just in the third, RG, but this would put it away. Now, he, it, right here, he, he can only... He's just going to keep killing the clock. He's going to run the ball here. He's going to take his three. He's going to make it three possessions if the, if the kick doesn't get blocked. He's How about this a, camera angle? When he, when he goes to the run, it's like this high, high oh, he plays camera. The wide. Yeah, 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 he plays at the wide. But no, that's a good game. We need to get back over, though, if you got your controller, uh, Scott, after this field goal. I need to see the Shugs game. So it's fourth and seven here. He's going to kick the field goal. That's going to make it a three-possession game, and that one's going to make it really hard on Man U. And that's not a good look for the Panthers. Yeah, Manu not even trying to block the kick right there. And I, I can't stand when people do that. I've seen times, he saw it in yep. Team Ward's game earlier, where he forced the punt with the game on the line, and he just came out in regular defense. You can block the punt, you can block the kick, you need to give yourself a chance in those desperate situations. And a lot of times, even these top players won't do it. I, I don't like it. Back here with Shugs. He get, picks up the first down on third and three. Feeling pretty confident about Mufasa in his game, so we're going to lock down with this one possession game. Yeah, and that's an upset over there. I, I'll let you talk to anybody here. They, they had Manu over Musafa besides those EMB boys. They believed in him. But, yeah, we got ourselves a ball game over here. These guys are in a hell game, Stevie J and Shugs. And look at Shugs. He's kind of like Winko. He's keeping his composure the whole time, not blinking. That's a, it's a dangerous man to be playing. He's focused at the task at hand. Second and 14 now. Oh, the sack. Somehow gets away. You got to wow. throw it away, and he does. Wow, that's impressive, Coltrane. You know how hard it is to get away from those free rushers like that. Not, or, you know, make sure you don't force a bad throw. That was a good play by Shugs, even though he didn't get anything out of it. That was a very mature throw away. 
The clock is starting to become an issue here with 2.58. It's got time. Boy, throws that one into the flats where Jones comes up and makes the play there in that Tampa 2. They're running out of time. Only two, about 2.40 left here in this game. Shug's just relied on those drag routes. He's going to need to get aggressive here. Show us what he got downfield. You got to watch the playmaker, Coltrane. That's been his bread and butter, the playmaker drag. The playmaker off the drag route. Fourth and nine. Not fourth in the game yet. Still has three timeouts. This is big. This is a situation, Scott. Quick throw. And it's He's back. got it. He's got room. Once again, Anthony Barr. Two interceptions. That's not the dagger, but it's close. Stevie J lurking again, gets, goes down, gets it back to the middle of the field. Second user lurk for Anthony Barr. That's the best kind of interception you can get. He's a couple first downs away from putting Chugs away and ending his MCS season. Representing those Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And they didn't have the greatest season. They could use some glory over there in Tampa. Saints obviously had that. Well, oh, come on. You, you're dramatic. saying the Saints didn't have or are uh, not they, feeling they, pretty they, low right now? As, as rough as anybody. It was right there. They should be in Minnesota. Well, they'd had to get they, they, they would have got through, through the Philly. Eagles, but I'm just saying. And those Eagles, man, going to Philadelphia, that's not a place you want to go and play. It was tough. Very tough team. Looking forward to that one between the Pats and the Eagles. But right here between the Bucks and the Saints. Needs three yards to put this one away. Remind me to give you my Patriots stat over the Eagles later on. Not now, but I got a stat for you. You want to save it for the AFC day or yeah, we want to do it save, today? We'll save it for save the it AFC for tomorrow. day. Come back right. tomorrow. We'll save it for the AFC day. I got a cool stat for you, though. Third and three. You got a feeling your stat's going to be. It favors the Patriots. Yeah, That's the Patriots have this guy named Tom Brady, and the no, Eagles no, don't. No, no, Is that no, your no, stat? no, no, no. It's a stat that everybody's overlooking. We okay. got to save it. It's, it's a big, it's big here. So fourth and one. Here's the timeout. I'm just relying on you to remind me. I put it in my mental catalog. Fourth and one. Let's this call it. it fourth and half a yard. This is it. What do you got, Shugs? You got to think Shugs is going to run commit here. Nope, he didn't. He plays coverage in the oh! high point oh! to Shannon Sharp. Wow, what execution. It was perfect, almost defense by Shugs. He didn't run commit. He dropped him back. He went underneath for the drag. Stevie J with ice in his veins, slangs it on fourth and one. It was pretty much going to punch his ticket to the next round, bearing anything tragic. You guarantee he's got ball carrier on conservative. And oh. there's Shugs. Second timeout, just one remaining with 49 seconds. Let's just see what's going on on the other game. Falcons and Panthers. Guys, another update, another pick by Musafa. That is his fourth on the day. Rico, what else can you ask for? You call him Musafa, some people call him Mufasa. All we know is he's king of the jungle right now. <laughs> Back to you guys. A lot of interceptions over there. And they will shake hands. That'll be it. Now look at that, though. Just a lot Talk of about the kick block and the... Uh, but what a fight by Ha Shugs. He's just going to come up short as Stevie J really locking in here early. Yeah, and I love seeing this from these two players. Two guys, that 11-year difference in age. But you see that, they're getting along, no hard feelings, good game. Talking about what they're passionate about. It's what it's all about, Scott. Well, we still have a few minutes left in that 